Hey, what's up folks, how's it going? This watch. Hope you guys are all doing well. So for the past couple of months, I've been working on this racing simulator at the house. I've been testing out a whole bunch of different uh, hardware, specifically wheels and pedals, trying to find the right combination. But ultimately what I want to do with this simulator is actually do some live streaming. And uh, I can go down the traditional route of using OBS XSplit and then go directly live to Twitch or YouTube. But recently I discovered this online based live streaming service called Melon. Now there kind enough to actually uh, sponsor uh, parts of uh, this uh, racing simulator so we can make this content possible in the first place. So big thank you to them for the sponsorship. But more importantly, I think the surface is really cool and extremely simple to use. It's an excellent way to uh, first start live streaming if you've never encountered any kind of live streaming software before. You don't need a fancy computer. All you need is a web browser and within a few clicks you can uh, live broadcast or record directly on to the cloud. Now the cool thing about Melon is you can have different guests so it's ideal for people perhaps doing a meeting, interview, or podcast that they want to live stream. You can use it for gaming as well since you can add different capture uh, devices and it can stream 1080p at 30 frames per second. I just want to give you guys a quick walkthrough of the studio interface to show you how easy it is to use and to get started. Okay, so here is the Melon Studio interface. It's extremely well laid out, super simple and easy to use. I'm gonna walk you through the core essential features that you need to know straight off the bat. Now, the bottom portion over here, you're gonna see your main menu uh, kind of control settings for microphone. You can mute and unmute, you can select which uh, microphone device it'll automatically detect everything that's uh, connected to your pc you also have levels echo cancellation as well as stereo and auto adjustments for your microphone levels after that you have your video settings which you can turn on and off uh, you can adjust which capture uh, device that you're using i'm actually using a mirrorless panasonic camera connected to an hd60s elgato capture card and we're capturing 30 frames per second at 1080p resolution and here's where you can add a actually a PlayStation or an Xbox or whatever other uh, capture device and it'll automatically recognize as long as you have the right drivers installed for that device. Super simple, straightforward to use. We're actually really surprised to see how easy it actually works. After that, we have a screen sharing portion where we can share the entire monitor display as well as specific windows or Chrome tabs. Uh, this is limited uh, in terms of a frame rate, so you don't get the most smoothest uh, video signal when capturing uh, the actual screen itself, but it's usable nonetheless for a PowerPoint presentation or anything like that. After that, you have the chat uh, settings where you can see the chat from your live stream as well as the private chat from your uh, individual guests that you have on stream. And the most important thing is the settings menu over here, which you can change the actual name of your stream, Make sure you're recording in the right quality, 1080p. You can also set the recording so it captures everything and stores it on the cloud, which you can retrieve later. Um, and you could show people's names and things like that. After that, you have uh, the logo uh, settings. So you can actually uh, bring in your own logo and put it on the top right hand corner of your stream. You have a banner on the lower thirds, which you can again change the name and font size as well as font. You have a ticker uh, feature as well at the bottom, as well as individual backgrounds that you can customize. They have some nice ones uh, that are set in by default. And a new feature that they just added, which is a custom video. So you can have a countdown for your live stream, end of your live stream, or actually have any video that you want to queue up right then and there. Pretty simple and straightforward. And uh, you also have the ability to schedule your stream as well as go live, which is probably the most important thing here. You can connect your individual live streaming services accounts. So I have my uh, YouTube, Twitch, uh, you can all so do uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, Periscope, as well as a custom. Uh, and you can have up to four streams going live at the same time. You also have the feature to record only uh, if you want to just record onto the cloud-based service that Melon provides. On the left-hand side, you can see that we can actually invite uh, guests over here by sending a link or email th or through Messenger. So it's actually simple and straightforward. You just send them that link. And we're actually going to invite a guest right now to join the stream. Okay, so now I've invited some guests onto this stream and we can actually show them on the main screen by just saying show on stream. And it has a pre-arranged configuration which you can change. There's a couple of different uh, layouts uh, based on how many people you have on stream.
and uh, you can actually change uh, the order and configuration like in this three-way configuration if we want uh, this guy over here to be uh, the main kind of focus of the stream we could uh, do that or vice versa the really cool thing about using melon if you want kind of a multi-cam approach without having a whole bunch of different capture cards is you actually can use any smartphone tablet anything that has a camera and internet connection pretty much it will automatically work it actually doesn't need any third-party application it runs inside the browser of the smartphone which is super cool and very very accessible to everybody uh, it is limited to 720p at 30 frames per second so the main person primarily hosting the stream will have the best quality of video as you can see uh, but the other video isn't too bad and most people's internet connection isn't great in the first place so I guess that's fine for the time being but perhaps the quality of the guests in terms of video quality will improve as we move further on but generally speaking super simple and straightforward to use we can go live right now to Twitch or YouTube and have an awesome conversation podcast or whatever now I did do some a live test stream specifically focused on gaming and it's important to note that you only really have one 1080p 30 frames per second video input on the surface right now which is perfectly fine if you want to hook up an xbox or a playstation with your capture card and record relatively good footage that way uh, but uh, the uh, screen cap uh, the feature that's built in is limited in terms of frames per second and it's not really going to capture your gaming footage in a nice way uh, it's great for again presentations or even if you want to have a little commentary box with a video webcam uh, on the lower thirds or something like that where the uh, quality and the frame rate isn't that important that's definitely possible but uh, melon is really optimized uh, for people that are going to have multiple guests in a meeting or interview type situation it's excellent for podcasts if if you want to produce kind of a talking heads show uh, it's a fantastic super simple online based service that I can't really recommend enough for that sort of application but uh, the really cool thing that impressed me the most is the fact that you can really uh, use it on any platform whether that's PC Mac smartphone don't need any third-party applications it works with the hardware that you have already built into whatever you're using so super accessible if you want to try out a melon yourself check out the description down below they actually have a free trial and find out if it's right for you we want to thank them so much for their support without them uh, this uh, racing simulator wouldn't be possible we actually have a, a three-way comparison between three of the best budget-friendly racing wheels that you can get from Logitech fan attack as well as Thrustmaster you'll find that in the video description or on the channel if that video is isn't out already. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you have post notifications turned on so you get our videos once they become available and subscribe if you haven't already.